Yeah, uh, so MVP came out with the Beatdown Clan. And uh, for those of you unfamiliar, the Beatdown Clan uh, is feuding with this faction called The Rising, which is a bastardized version of the Nexus. Same color scheme and everything. Wow. And they, they've been um, like uh, beating each other up and uh, doing hit-and-run attacks. You know, very, very heel stuff. And, um, and MVP came out and said that People were accusing the Beatdown Clan of being thugs, which a, a faction attacking people backstage with a lead pipe and, and interfering in title matches, you know, all that stuff. And then MVP said that he was going he, – he prefaced this, like, on live TV saying he was going to be real and uh, say things that were going to make people upset. And he said that the Beatdown Clan being called thugs was just – a new way of saying the N word. He's gonna say it, the N word. Which, no, he did not say the N word, and you can, you don't even have to be that good at reading lips mm-hmm. to see what he said. And it did get uh, it did get bleeped on air live. It did get bleeped on live. So, in other words, this was totally pre-planned, and they absolutely knew. It was no, coming. not necessarily. Uh, they <laughs> there's a guy on a button for all live shows yeah, nothing's live anymore it's all yeah. like like seven second delay or something yeah yeah there's there's room for that ever since we saw janet jackson's boob that one time even, <laughs> even before that even before that with also the, what, I, don't know, with I don't know what the big deal is jbl almost says it like five times every time a Dolph ziggler match happens. that's true <laughs> too that is true too from but, to michael but this is, I mean, this is something, you know, we, there were stories, we were talking about it. Uh, I, I know there's a story I brought up on Mayhem Minute here uh, within the last week or so where, you know, Billy Corgan was on Fox News of all places talking about how he was, he wanted to find inventive ways to bring in transgendered and racial issues to TNA wrestling uh, and that they, they could tell those stories in interesting ways. I don't know if this is a direct influence of that, but it has to be. It's, right? a, it's a reference. <laughs> a reference to what somebody said on CNN mm-hmm. because <laughs> one pundit was referring to them as thugs and somebody said essentially exactly what MVP Right, said. right. This yeah. this is this is an ongoing conversation yeah. happening now because of the Baltimore situation. I don't want to get into that discussion per, per se, but how do we feel with this discussion happening in our pro wrestling? We talked about realness versus uh, uh, midget bull characters in the past. You know, uh, but you know, is is there a place for this? Is are they and, and are they doing it in the right way? What 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 right? What what qualifies Billy Corgan the book of pro wrestling show other than the fact that he's a famous singer? Well, actually, he he had he's resistance been pro for wrestling for yeah. like a decade. Um, yeah. Well, and, and, and on top he, of that, you, you go to wrestling to relax and enter. I don't go to wrestling to, to watch you know uh, uh, metaphors for 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 the riots and the. You know, it's not like I don't want to go to a wrestling show, especially if I'm with my kids and have them exposed to that. I, I don't I think TNA needs to go back to doing what they did right and showcase a unique brand of wrestling, uh, find their brand rather than try to be crash reality TV. I mean, having a work shoot. I mean, let's go back to Nitro before it died and everybody was being real with quotation marks, <laughs> you know. So it's it's a fine line for you. You want it to be realistic, but not too realistic. It doesn't need to. It doesn't. You don't well, need we, to bring well, controversial no, agree, things. You know, we don't want to. We don't want to be told, "Hey, this is what actually is happening." We don't want you know Tony Giovanni going like, "Oh, Goldberg didn't follow the script last night." No, like, <laughs> like the I I think I think there is a place for racial and transgender and and. Um, uh, gender in general issues uh, to be brought into professional wrestling. I think companies like Lucha Underground are doing that very well. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's a difference between showcasing those and 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 telling and, 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 and exploiting them and, and just haphazardly just being like oh racial stuff. Like it, it didn't serve yeah. the story. It didn't. It, it didn't do anything. Do you know how? Yeah, TNA I mean, it, it just had. MVP going out and just saying the N word, and by the way, Kenny King's reaction during that, priceless. Yeah. Well, by he, the way, this was also and filmed. Angry and wait, 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 wait. What was what was the reaction to that? He was shocked, angry, and slightly concerned. <laughs> You know how TNA it's could quadruple character. the ratings easily? Uh, hmm. Give Scott Steiner a live mic for the for the go home yeah. fifteen minutes of every week. Yeah. And and that that would be that would be how you increase ratings because Scott Steiner 
That man is Scott Steiner 24-7. Mm-hmm. Right. Scott Steiner, Iron Sheik debate. When he called Samoa Joe a fat ass, I thought that was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'll, I'll just say, I'll just say this, and and to not to, I'm not going to spoil upcoming TNA uh, events. Um, but when no, it comes to Billy, when it comes to Billy Corgan's claims about you know bringing light to racial.